Hello and welcome back MTG Burgeoning Community and YouTube viewing audience. Today is Sunday, so that can only mean one thing here at MTG Burgeoning. Sunday is fun day. And with that comes our all-time favorite changeling, our Sunday host straight from the annals of Modern Horizons 1, Morophon the Boundless. We've had a lot of fun with Morphin over these past few months, you know, starting off his series with a human legend build, and then once we finished that, we moved on to budget slivers. Some very friendly, some very, very congenial builds. Well, that ends in series three, folks. Morphin and MTG Burgeoning. I think we're going to pause the cuteness of Sunday fun days for a little while. We're going to get to something a little more deranged, a little more demented, a little bit higher on the power level. And let's face it, a little more groan inducing. So I task the MTG burgeoning community to come up with a selection. I have a focus in mind. I have a theme in mind. I know the direction the next Morphin the Boundless deck is going to take, but it's up to the MTG burgeoning community to select which deck he will pilot, which tribe will he pilot, and not so much the actual tribe per se, but the actual card of the tribe. We're going rats here, folks. We are going to build a crooked and warped rat deck and I am tasking the MTG burgeoning community to select which rats they should see in this build. The choices are two. The first choice is the original Relentless Rats. One and two black. It's a 2-2 rat, and Relentless Rats gets plus one, plus one for each other creature on the battlefield named Relentless Rats. A deck can have any number of cards named Relentless Rats, so before you go sprinting to the comment section trying to notify me that EDH forbids multiple copies of cards because of the singleton factor outside of basic lands, let me save you that journey. Relentless Rats text supersedes that rule. So we can put 60 Relentless Rats in a deck if we wanted to. I'm not recommending that's the path we take, so we won't. But Relentless Rats is choice number one. The original. Choice number two, coming from Dominaria, is Rat Colony. One in a black, two one body. Rat Colony gets plus one plus zero for each other rat we control. A deck can have any number of cards named Rat Colony. Those are the choices. They are different. The only thing that they are the same in is that they're both rats and we can both have more than the minimum number of required creatures of each type. Now, here are the pitfalls of selecting one or the other. If we select the Relentless Rats, that double black mana symbol could act as a hindrance to what this engine of a deck is going to do, the very deranged and depraved and menacing things that we're planning to do with this deck. The double black could act as a hindrance. But on the other hand, the plus one plus one is very beneficial as a way in which to keep our rats alive by boosting their toughness. It's that exact detriment that makes Rat Colony a little more of a vulnerable choice. Yes, the casting cost is just one in a single black mana symbol. Of course, with Morphin in play, it's just one mana of any color because he would reduce the cost of our rats. However, rat colonies only get plus one plus zero for each other rat we control. So if we have 10 other rats, those 10, each of those rats are going to get plus 10 plus zero. That one toughness leaves them very vulnerable to a plethora of removal spells that say deal one damage or deal two damage. So each selection is not without its potential pitfalls, but I cannot make that by myself. So, MTG burgeoning community, 
you will vote in the comment section below which rats we are going to build around in this Morophon Rats deck. Just leave a comment in the section or leave a comment in the comment section below. Make your choice, Relentless Rats or Rat Colony, and let me know your reasoning why. Again, we were cute with Human Legends. We were cuter with Budget Slivers. There ain't nothing cute about this rat deck, folks.